Okay, guys, welcome to episode, I have to write them down now, number six. Hello. There's Snoop, right on time. <laughs> Say hello, Snoop. No. He's such a diva. Uh, episode <laughs> six is, he loves a good lick. Ah! <laughs> uh, we've kept the same clothes on for a week. Yeah, we're stinking. No, you're, uh, right now you're in, you've traveled somewhere. It's next week, if you know what I mean, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, now, we had to record two in the same week, so what we're going to talk about now first is kind of confirmed today, uh, and there might be a bit more news about it by the time you watch this, but you should be watching it a few days before it comes out, is the Apple iWatch has been announced on the 9th of September, and also a bigger iPhone. Uh, Which I like. Are you going to get it? Yes. So it'll be about... Can I write on this? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll show you what those are. So, like, say that's the iPhone, it'll be... That's for me now. That size. That's what you want? Uh, yeah, let's, let's let people know, because that's kind of one of those battery pack things. Oh, yeah. So it might be a little bit smaller, I've probably exaggerated, but, like, it's going to be sort of it's big and chunky, yeah. but the screen will be amazing. What um, do you think? Yeah, I'll get it. Definitely. Because you're an Apple addict, or because no, because I just you tried out that Galaxy Note and you kind of like yeah, the size. Yeah, yeah, the screen, but then the other stuff was crap. Yeah, like the software and stuff there was turned out. Ooh, um, but I just yeah, I think just a slightly bigger screen, just like to watch a video or to just just the bigger screen's nicer, and the cam yeah. camera always gets better. Did you get word on what the spec is going to be like? No, but like just uh, I think like I think they've sort of um, very pop. I think they've outspecced phone, or not outspecced them, but like there's not much more further they can go. Each one just gets a bit faster, a bit yeah. nicer, a bit the camera's better and stuff. But I don't know, like it'll just everything will be better. It's Apple, like. but um, more interestingly, the watch. It's definitely coming now. Everything to oh on the phone, I read today 100% from a good source that there's going to be NFC payments. Finally on the phone. So tying Finally. in with. Uh, who are they tying in with Visa, like lots of people. I don't think they're, because like Square and the likes of their competitors. So it's just going to be tap, a load of payments. Yeah. Um, it's the way to go. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's the phone, but the watch is coming out. Will you buy a watch? See, I like watches. Yep. And I kind of like old watches. Yeah. You know. Um, I think you'll have a watch on. Um, I'd say I probably will get it as an everyday thing. They, like they hired, for example, some designers and people from mm, maybe Hublot or one of the big yeah. Swiss nice looking watches. And they've got Nike executives came in who well, The funny thing is, uh, I always thought like, so you know the way Nike had their watch, right? Yeah, the like strap that, thing? Yeah, well no, Nike had a kind of like a, it was a watch that tracked you and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was, that was basically Apple to just try it in everything. Yeah. On the slide. Yeah, exactly. They've been trying it, yeah, I'd say. They never they're, do come up with something new. They always just remix up people's ideas. And they're not gonna, they're not gonna come up with something shit. Like they're not no. gonna put out a product. That's that why they're waiting. Work. Yeah. yeah. Um, what if it? Did was, you get a? Did you get an idea? Of, is it gonna be? I don't know. Clear, Nobody knows. Flexi, any of that stuff. It's the first time in a long time. Like remember when the iPhones used to come out and nobody knew. Like they've been leaking all their stuff has kind of been leaked out of China in recent years mm. through the supply chain. This time, nobody actually knows. So it's going to be like, -da, like when the iPad came out. And it's going to cost you 2,000 euro. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> what, what if it was like, you'd nearly want it to be more expensive, wouldn't you? If it was like, I don't know, I, I, what, like what price would it be? I, like a, a, a good watch I'm gonna is say, thousands. Yeah, well like, yeah, I, I'm, you know. I mean, I don't know. I'd say they'll price it at four or 500. Maybe it's cheaper. Uh, we're going to have to shoot again because Louise opened her can. I'm only joking. <laughs> Louise was like really quietly opening her can. Um, it's uh, she was Buster's pan going <laughs> pan. Um, what if I said to you it was 2,000 euros? It would have to be unbelievable. unbelievable. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, when Google Glass came out. Yeah. It was that much. And I'm yeah. kind of like, too much. Too much, yeah. What if it was when you, when it, you know when you like your phone, like you're getting a new phone every year, you know what I mean, kind of thing. It's what if I told you the sensors on it could make you live three years longer and be seven percent faster on the rugby pitch? Oh yeah, you buy it. Yeah, yeah. So that's the sort of stuff they're gonna have, I reckon. 
I'm making that up. <laughs> like <laughs> what is foofer? <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I know it's our new software that like the like the, the really stuff, pushing yeah. down the health stuff. Yeah. In the, you know in the tech space like biotech and where yeah. the tech and wearable tech so all that space is really really interesting and, and where I think a lot of kind of innovation is going to come. Yeah. See, I think the mistake people think is that Apple will maybe have all this. They'll have some software on it. But sure, they've opened it up to developers, exactly. haven't they? Yeah. So, like, the stuff that will be possible with it won't be at the... And I think people will probably be underwhelmed. Yeah. They're like, what you forget, Buster's looking for his ball, what you forget is, like, when the first iPhone came out, people were like, oh, yeah, it's really cool, but is it that great? And then yeah. the app started coming. Like, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if people, when they see it, are like, mm, is this that good? But it's not Apple. It's, it is going to be good, and, and once it's opened up, once developers get their hands on it as well, yeah, like that's where it's going to start. Like Johnny Ive is still there. He's not going to release something that no. Shit. Oh, be, it will be beautiful looking. Yeah. But the thing that gets me more, like Apple will come up with a couple of standard, really, really good stuff things. Yeah. But the fact that they're opening up with their their latest software update, that that's where you know. It's kind of like they're all Apple are all looking in the one direction. They need yeah, yeah, yeah. they need an outside developer to be looking in a different way yeah, of how yeah, to yeah, use exactly. it. Need to come up with something really cool. Definitely. So you're buying one. Depending. Six nine nine. For what? If it was six nine nine. The watch. Yeah. Or do you wait for the second one? I. Oh. Oh. No, I get it. <laughs> of course you would. Yeah. But the thing is, I just, I, I, I hate waiting, like, yeah, yeah. months and months and months and months. Especially months with and Apple and a new yeah. product. Like, there hasn't been anything new since the iPad, which was 2000. And you know they're purposely going to drip feed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, true, <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's <laughs> true. Yeah, you'll have to fly to America or something to get it. Um, okay, so we're buying watches. Second story <laughs> is, so this is something else from America that I was keen on getting your thing. So we went to a couple of colleges. Like, last year I was in Notre Dame. Mm. Uh, this time we're Penn in State are coming over tomorrow uh, or, or something. Sorry. Yeah, they've so been here. <laughs> by this stage, they've been here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're, I was also in Stanford this time. We did a bit of oh, just wow. wandering around and filming. Yeah, I saw the stuff. videos. Yeah. So they've got such a different system for athletes. That's why I was interested in talking to mm. you. Where they can't really turn professional. They have to go through. Apart from, I think, is it basketball? Is different. Basketball, you can go, <laughs> and baseball, Buster. You, you can go straight from high school. Buster's lost his ball. The time to play, isn't it, Buster? Um, um, you can go straight and baseball as well. Baseball, you, you can go straight from high school, but um. so the b benefits is like the the college football system. It's like it, in Notre Dame, they had like an eighty thousand seater. Yeah, but it's a joke. So like they don't pay the they don't pay the the student body, right? The student athletes. Right. So they're free. So they like it's a bi multi billion dollar industry. The college football alone. And who keeps the money? The college colleges. Colleges, right? And they don't. So they get all. So it's a business for them. That's right, why they've right, got these right. eighty seaters because they sell it out. You know. Yeah, the Notre Dame one was like sold out. Twenty years. Or yeah, something. it's ridiculous. I remember the stat, but it was like it hadn't been a free seat. It's in a business. Years. All the all the sales of jerseys, merchandise, all goes to the college. You know what I mean? And for them to. Give a scholarship to it to a, a, an athlete for four years, five years. In the big scheme, is nothing. So you're it's saying, like employing someone. But let me. I'll come at it from another angle. Say you're eighteen. Where were you at when you're eighteen? In an academy, or is there yeah, like yeah. something like that? Yeah. Um. Say you're eighteen and you're not great, and you yeah. get your scholarship. Oh no! I I just think, I just think there should be. The way I look at it, I go, okay, uh, it's generating like a, a huge business, right? Yeah. And there's always, like they're using the player's likeness in games, for example. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, Madden S yeah. games for college football, really? college baseball, all that sort of thing, right? So you're yeah. kind of going like, that's unfair. Yeah, it is, yeah. So I think, I think each player should be entitled to a percentage depending on how much they're used, what right? About the, uh, uh, but if they go early and they don't finish college, like Johnny Manziel did last year, yeah. Um, they they forfeit that. Okay, that's fair. I think that would be a good because there's a big. What about the amount of cheerleaders you get? Would that not sort of? <laughs> <laughs> Always, <laughs> it comes back to that with you. Um, 
Well, uh, like they they are held like with like they're like superhero status. Yeah, them, you know what I mean. But it's still you think that the, the the colleges are probably getting more out of them than they're getting out of out of it in return. Yeah, I do I completely. Um. Okay. But I I I mean, but their facilities are are like are amazing. What, what about if you're like, you know, a decent player, twenty one, you get your knees are gone. Hmm. Then you come out of it. You you were never that smart before. You come out of it. You've got a nice degree in yeah. something. It's, I is think there a good. That yeah. must be a good side of it. Oh, it is. It completely like. I mean, you, you've guys who are basically are able to get to good college that wouldn't be able to yeah. off the back of sport, which yeah. is great. Um, but I just think bit of a mad system. Yeah, it's just too weighed heavily in in the college's favor. Yeah. You I know? know what you mean. But then, like the fans, like the in Notre Dame. Dame, whatever way you say it, like the people would fly back from all over the country yeah, for every it's, game. It's weird. It's, it's mental, nearly, isn't it? Like, uh, like and their then, alumni like pumping yeah. loads. And, like you just, I don't know you just don't seem to get that in Ireland, do yeah. you? Stanford got a billion a year, more than a billion from alumni coming well, back what's, in. What's your college? What college you go to? <laughs> Cal Brew Street. Like they wouldn't have like. <laughs> you, are, you, are you paying? Are you sending the money back to them? Right? No. But that's like they nearly. They, it's a community and they all like network together and send money back and it's, it's mad. But even like, like they all have the fraternities and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah, just yeah. don't really have that. I think it's good, no? In here? No, in America. Like I think it's great. Yeah, like they're... Like I if think it's great. If you're trying to get an intro somewhere and your college buddy is there, like they play up on that big time. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, went to Harvard as well, but we just slept there for two hours in the, in the grounds. We were there, like, we were just in Boston, for, and then we got an overnight flight, and then we're like, this is amazing, you know, looking around Harvard, and then and we fell just, asleep. like, fell asleep, and then left. But it was Did a you nice buy sleep. a lot of, lot of Harvard gear and pretend like you were shooting? No, I've got Stanford gear, though, to pretend I'm, yeah, big, nice. big shot. Um, what is our second? So college sports in general, colleges benefit from it, do you think? Yeah, I just I think they probably could refine it now that it's it's yeah, such big money. They're so good at making money in America. They've got all these <laughs> systems that are just like they're smart fuckers. Uh, I was going to talk quickly about one. Uh, somebody asked me to write an article on this, which will be last week for the journal. I think it's out now. Just negative online sentiment, right? So mm. you, I'm sure you would get a lot of it uh, being in rugby and stuff. And generally online people can say whatever they want. They can oh, be sure like, there's they can, like keyboard you know, warriors all over the place. And a lot of like it's starting to get a lot more prominent. There's an app, I don't know if you've seen it, Secret. Yeah. And it's pretty hardcore. So Secret for people who don't know is you can download it and you're completely anonymous. The only way that so it goes into my phone book and it pulls out my friends via their phone number. So like if you were on it it would pull you in but it never there's no like you, apparently there's no way of finding out who anybody is so you can say stuff anonymously but you'll know that it's a friend of yours yeah so like i say me and you're on it i might be like jesus jamie thinks he's some tosser yeah. or you know like whatever i want to say i can say and then other that. people jump in <laughs> other people jump in. oh i'd say way worse than that, don't worry. <laughs> i'm trying to be pc here um so like the stuff that gets said there is hardcore and pre, like virgin verging on like they've had issues with bullying and stuff like that in america they're yeah. Kind of clamping down on it. So, where do you start? Like, I mean, people do genuinely say, like, if you search, say, the word nigger or like something terrible, like, where there's people on Twitter, like, go and look at it saying horrendous things to yeah. other people, racists, like, just. It's impossible to, to police. Yeah. Oh. Here comes Buster. Oh. He's got his ball. Um, get out of here, Buster. Give me that. Uh, so it's really hard to police, um, but at the this same guy's time, he's got like, like a grip, like a. Oh, he, he won't. He won't give it up. Ugh. I know. No, <laughs> it's not like, you. Oh. Um, um, and it's impossible. Like I mean, okay. What I do, I just block them. Okay. Straight away. Any, the anything, and I mean anything. You could say <laughs> I had a bad haircut, yeah, yeah. and you're getting a block. <laughs> Seriously. You know? Yeah. I mean, negative influence yeah, just gone. You're gone. Right. Um, <laughs> But, uh, and if, if I don't like what you're about, you're gone. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, I, I don't know what Block does. Does it just come... They can't... I have no idea, but I never see them again, basically. Ever. Okay. I Brilliant. don't know if they can still see you or not. Or they probably can because it's public. Like, you're, you can go on and see it public. They're probably trying to reply They probably just to you. can't see it from their, their own Twitter yeah, feed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it, unfortunately, 
it's it's the other side of the 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 sword, you know. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Would you like if let's say somebody said to you, "I want you to die." Uh, rot in hell or something that's nearly has been said yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've had as well but like should that person have but the to funny thing is like these people would never no come up to you no no absolutely the only time people really come up and, and give you abuse I find is Opposition when they're drunk time. yeah which is usually around the half 11 12 o'clock mark on a night out if you're not drinking yeah and on social media yeah we had a really good one when we were in America this guy emailed and he was basically, it was like we got the email and it was like basically like, fuck you and your tour, you fucking bald little fat bastard. Like the worst of the worst. I was like, what did on, you do to this guy? Went on for about, I don't know, nothing. But like Ed, the guy who was with me, he was like, I think that guy might be drunk. I just kind of forgot it. Like obviously he didn't answer it or whatever. Yeah. Two days later, the guy wrote back, it was like a Sunday evening or something. He was like, look, I'm really sorry. I was absolutely hammered. Uh, you know, I'm not normally like this. I just got, and I actually wrote back to him. I was like, look, fair enough. I've yeah. done stupid. Like we've all done stupid things when you're drunk. Like to yeah. have the balls to write back and sort of. Actually, in fairness, fair play to yeah, him then. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. Um, but yeah, it's, mixing social media and drink is very dodgy. Oh yeah. Have you never done anything like? I think I've been all right so far. Yeah. I you know, it's, it's just, there's something in your brain. See, I somewhere. don't have I don't have Twitter on my phone. Oh, do you not? No, I've only for the it. iPad. Uh, Twitter's the only really dangerous one. Like, you'd yeah. never do anything bad on Instagram, Facebook. You wouldn't be in there. You'd, I find if you're drunk, you tend to just forget about it. So, like, yeah. it's just... I don't really get it. You no. Know? But, like... Uh, Should I, people I don't really have... Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know why people feel the need to... Con it's kind of like they're looking for attention, just going at people, trying to yeah. get a reaction. Yeah. You know... You go onto some people's feeds, like some really well-known people's feeds, yeah, and, it's and you just see some of the abuse coming yeah, after yeah. them. Like, Have you ever like, seen that the video? I think it, I don't know. It's like I love the one they do in America. Is it Jimmy did, Fallon's doing I it? I think yeah, or one of them. The, the, yeah, they're reading out the, the really mean yeah, tweets. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, celebrities brilliant. reading out mean tweets. I think that's so funny, and they're like rotten hell. You fucking, it's <laughs> it's bad. But is there like if there's been a few cases where people have had to be go to court and stuff about it? Well, like the, but the other thing that that I uh, that are, like you know the bullying online. Yeah, right, and where. You know, stuff follows people around now. Like, yeah. you're hearing stories of, you know, girls sending stuff when they thought their guy was into them and then yeah, he throws yeah, it yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he tr sends her on campus or whatever and she has to leave that school to go to another school and it follows her and yeah. all this. Well, you that, know. Those people should be held to account. Like, there should be it, some there, sort there of, has to be repercussions yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You can't just, like, it's not just, like, online is like the real world now. Yeah. But people think differently. Like, to think because there's keyboards. That it's um, that you can say anything. Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't think there's really a solution though, is there? Unless you had some sort of identity, like if you could log into the internet as a whole and you were Jamie, and like everything you did showed up that it was Jamie. You see, that's the thing. You can just set up accounts. Yeah. And there's no repercussion. Like, no. let's say you did something to me. All right. Buster, get your ball. <laughs> He's so lazy. He won't I go know. around. Like, lazy or stupid. Um, but like, like yeah. if Twitter, let's say you did something on Twitter and Twitter just ban you, like, yeah. it takes you two seconds to set up another account. Yeah. Away you go. No, it's true. And in fairness, what I will say to Twitter is they really, I've known somebody in privacy, they're really good at monitoring it. They monitor a lot oh, of Oh, they're stuff. brilliant. I mean, I got, I got, uh, I got, like, even let's say a hacking. Yeah. I got hacked there, um, what was it, a month ago? Yeah. And are you going to give it to me or are we going to fight over it again? Ha ha. Touche. <laughs> Straight, um, straight onto your PA when you got hacked. Well, <laughs> I mean, you got to me. Um, but they, then they got in touch with me as well. And they're like, oh, we noticed it as well. Yeah. So I was up flying and I came down and I saw that and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, but they said, we changed it for you. Bang, the thing go. is, like, when you get hacked, you kind of, like, everybody knows you're hacked. Yeah. It's, not, it's like, check out these sexy pictures. It's not as if, like, <laughs> you suddenly start changed. For a fun time call. Yeah. <laughs> it probably didn't get hacked. It was probably <laughs> some scam that you had going. You're like, oh, yeah, hacked. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, last thing we're going to talk about is kind of just, you know, the, do you watch TV? Yeah, I do. More on-demand stuff, though, or okay. Netflix. So it's kind of, there's these sort of new companies emerging, like Vice is one, uh, Netflix, obviously. But there's like, ma like, basically, I've been looking at research, like kids under, you know, kids in general, mm. don't like TV 
done. They're like they ne they don't go in and sit down in their living room and watch a TV, and increasingly adults as well. But um, what? Where else would you find content apart from apart from Netflix? My grass's hard drive in Amma Oh really? Oh yeah. I don't want to know where that guy gets it from. <laughs> um, no, but I'm I'm literally Netflix. Yeah. Sky Go. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sky Go. Yeah, so, uh, as well because when I'm traveling, you know what I mean. You Sky Go, you can get it in the UK, and um, then I just Sky demand everything when I'm at yeah. home. But like, say news. What news would you watch, if any? Nothing. Circa yeah, on the phone or something. Yeah. I think like it's just and, and like. Paying a TV license like that; those days should be gone. Like I, I could sell like I, I just like Sky though. Yeah. Um, but I could definitely get by without, without TV. The TV yeah. If I just had Netflix or Apple TV, you'd be yeah. happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most disruptive show ever with Buster. Uh, He's literally the most annoying dog in the but world. But like, I mean, yeah, I don't know, but like, do you do you read or watch Vice? I don't actually. You no, should, you should. I it's should. really good. I can't recommend it enough. Um, okay, we're on a short show today because we're on time constraints. We usually finish up. Have you been reading any books, any <coughs> new TV shows, or apps? We did a lot of apps. What am um, I watching? Okay, I'm watching. Well, I finished watching Hannibal. Hannibal season two, which okay. is awesome. If really? you're not watching, what's it. that on? It, is that's that on, on uh, Sky Atlantic. Okay. Um, I'm just looking for apps. Uh, Ray Donovan. Have you seen Ray Donovan in Sky? Uh, no. Is that a series? Yeah. He's kind of like a fixer in LA, in West Hollywood. He's class. Okay. And then um, Silicon Valley. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. It's funny. It's what, good. What is it? I'm saving them up. What, what's that on? That's on Sky Atlantic as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I might yeah. need to get Sky Atlantic, it sounds like. Yeah. Um, but I haven't really been watching anything else. I'm watching Orange is New Black on Netflix as yeah, well. I couldn't get into that. It was the first episode I gave up, but people seem to say it's quite good. Oh, it is, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I gave, you know the way you give up after? Do you ever give up after one episode and then like... I kind of stick in. No, I've, I've done it a couple... We, actually, we were talking about this in the change room today. Like, a lot of lads are giving off about the wire that it takes so long to get into. And I was yeah. like, oh, no, but that's HBO for yeah, you. Yeah, you know, just stick at it. you got to stay with some yeah, of those yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like True Detective or... I just wait for... I'm like Apple. I wait for other people to tell me that it's made. <laughs> <laughs> to, to go through the shit and then I, I kind of jump in. A Boardwalk Empire starting soon again, which would be another whopper. That's good. Uh, actually, I meant to ask you earlier on, uh, <clears throat> I forgot the captaincy. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, yeah, That's I kind of got caught, caught, two weeks ago, yeah, I got caught offside, well, not offside, I got just caught unaware of that one, like, oh, was, really, yeah, I was coming out of gym session, Matt O'Connor just pulled me aside, and I, I was going to get a quick shake before I got to another meeting, and he was like, hey, you're captain, mate, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> you want it, I was like, yeah, and, uh, does that bring a lot more, uh, responsibility, a little or bit, you just, it? you just kind of have to think a bit more broader picture at times, yeah, but, um, we got a we got a really good uh, kind of self policing. You were saying that at team another in the place, you know, squad. So I mean, a lot of us kind of runs itself. Um, in games, a bit more. Not well. I've done that a good bit already. So oh, you have to make the. I was actually thinking that. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that a good bit. Yeah, like penalty kick, sideline scrum. Yeah, it's that's the, easy. Yeah. But, um, is there, does, does, can the manager talk to you a bit, runners and stuff? No, no, it's not like the NFL. You know they do that in the NFL. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like so you yeah, hear yeah, the guys. Yeah, no, yeah. you don't have the earpiece in. No, but could, like you know the way the water. Boys or the water boy. So I've done water boy a couple of times. Yeah. And they have the earpiece, and they're getting messages from the, the coach. Lads. So when they're on, they're yeah. give, they're giving messages. All right, yeah. So but like, they, would you get one saying like? Look, keep kicking to touch or that sort of stuff. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you still have to make big calls like oh yeah you're out there on your own you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah. you're not you know, and there's a vice captain holding your hand. there'll yeah, be I've, senior I've sort of players two, like they named the club captain and two kind of vice cap vice captains of the club which are Sean O'Brien and Rob Kearney cool. but like there's about oh, I don't know senior six, seven, players. eight guys there yeah. <clears throat> that have captained the side over the last couple of years so in fairness, it's not like football where they go up and they're arguing over who's going to take the penalty. Have you ever seen? Those yeah. Ones? That's, that's, that's have you seen some? Have you seen some of the like the vines going around of them like playing paper rock scissors as to who takes the kick, the no. penalty or the free kick? It's really? bloody brilliant. Yeah. Jeez, I must check that out. Yeah. See, in, in, vine actually, that's another one. Yeah, vine it's, it's hasn't kinda, really taken off here. 
No, but I, uh, what I notice is it's a lot of sports clips, but then I saw the sports, like the premiership and stuff, are clam- that's illegal, like you can't be sharing. Well, then we were, uh, this is the interesting one, so I was, we were doing the, the launch for the Guinness Pro 12 last week, Yeah. and Sky have come on board as the, the TV partner. Broadcaster, yeah. And but they were filming a lot of stuff on, around for Vine as well. Right. Yeah, which is really interesting because they they no one's really doing it, doing it here. I saw... It's not, they're not even thinking money, they're just thinking, right, brand it. And brand, yeah. expand the audience. Yeah, because I audience. think it's the NBA do, like Instagram's really good ones, you should follow it, like just little Oh yeah, the clips. Yeah, 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 they're really brilliant. good. Really, because it's a nice format, like just quick. But that's what people want, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. they want those nuggets, but like... Have you seen that? Uh, that's that'll be my app it's not really new but the and everybody knows about it but the hyperlapse one from instagram yeah. it's really cool yeah it's that's very cool it's i think it might be a bit geeky because we do filming and stuff that's why i might like it but it's really cool uh, yeah i i wouldn't have a massive use Would you for not? it like, yeah, no, see, that's i'm never gonna be on my bike like this yeah i was thinking that what about if you were no you just wouldn't i don't think regular people would really use it no, unless you're into it, like unless you're into one of those, like I was reading a Wired magazine of the guy, I can't remember his name. He's not the guy who's doing the humans in New York, but it's kind of like that. He just goes around to New York taking pictures, pictures. He's like right. massive following on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. But for those kind of guys, you know, bloggers and stuff who yeah. are on the phone 24-7 would be good. You could do like say a sunset or, but yeah, I think it's more like for creative people. Yeah. And, but loads of people will use it. Um, okay, normally we do a competition, but I'm trying to work out, so you got a competition. The girls are like waving furiously. So this is in two weeks time. Just shout it out, it's cool. You come in and tell us. Yeah, yeah, come in. Travel. Travel Wi-Fi. Travel Wi-Fi. Travel Wi-Fi tweeted prize of the A device running the States. Okay. So oh, nice. They you back. So say again? They just tweeted you back. Okay. So a prize of a device for anybody going to the States. So I don't really know the mechanic, but basically subscribe to us and then we'll put the down below. Uh, there'll be a competition for to win uh, Wi-Fi and a car from uh, Travel <laughs> Wi-Fi. No, there's no car. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's not a great competition because we don't know the mechanic, but it'll be down below and it'll all be clear. And thanks for those guys from Travel Wi-Fi uh, for giving us that prize. So uh, I think that's it. Anything else to add? No. We'll have iWatches on on the next show. We Apple branded up come the next (laughs) one. Um, Cheers, guys. That's it.